Hey baby girls, it is February 22nd, 2015, and it is about 11.51 a.m. I'm on my way back from the grocery store, and I wanted to talk to you about getting a good night's sleep. And pretty much the reason why is because last night I had a hard time going to sleep. I went to bed about 9.30, which is a good time for me, but it was probably around at after 11.30 before I dozed off because I remember looking at the clock at about 11.25 and then I was up before 3 o'clock so I tried and tried and tried and I laid in bed never went back to sleep and I finally got up out of bed about 5 o'clock but I, I know why I didn't sleep I believe I have a very low tolerance to caffeine and Susan and I drink some coffee about uh, about 4.30 or 5 o'clock and I thought I was doing a good thing I mixed it half regular coffee and half decaf coffee but um, I don't think that was good enough so the sad thing is I know that caffeine keeps me awake if I drink it at a, after a certain time and I know some other triggers that keep me awake if I'm really worried about stuff it keeps me awake if I watch TV in the bedroom or get on a tablet or a laptop or something the blue light from it is proven that that kind of stimulates your brain and keeps you awake too um, so I try to make a good habit of going to bed at the same time every night and not having the stimulants like coffee or tea anything with caffeine in it uh, no laptop or TV going on while I'm trying to sleep and try to keep the room cool and dark because that's those are conditions that help me sleep really well so what I'm what I want to do is tell you or ask you to find out what those triggers are that keep you awake and don't let you sleep good and alter them or get rid of them so it's a good good idea to go to bed every night at the same time or within you know a few minutes of the same time as close as you can get um, anything that stimulates you avoid it you know uh, don't don't drink coffee or, or tea or anything like that or any ca caffeinated drinks don't um, watch anything or read anything that excites you or stimulates your brain just kind of avoid as much of that stuff as possible and get a good night's sleep every night you'll feel better and it has a lot of impacts on it and one thing another thing I suffer with greatly is high blood pressure so Call, um, a good night's sleep helps lower your blood pressure too so just try your best to get a good night's sleep every night and till next time